And there were those times in today's game that had fans on the edge of their seats, and that includes super fan Susie Butcher. Our reporter Rena Nicato caught up with the lucky fan who spent her day in the stands. Because of coronavirus rules, only 8,500 fans were allowed inside. But for those who had a seat, the day couldn't have ended any better. What just happened? We won! <laughs> By her high-pitched giggle, you can tell that Padres superfan Susie Butcher is over the moon. Last night, the 36-year season ticket holder could barely sleep, knowing that she'll be back in the stands for opening day. I got up early to get ready, of course. Her day began at the Morena Trolley Station. I'm waiting for the trolley to get down to Petco Park for opening day. Since the pandemic shut everything down, opening day 2020 was the first one she'd missed in 36 years. Everybody is so excited. We're just, we just can't wait to get inside. So excited, she could barely contain herself during our pregame interview. Thanks, okay. Rena. Bye. Okay, bye. Okay, we're done. Oh, Jiminy Christmas. After she ran inside, she says she was like a kid in a candy store, taking photos with the new team murals, taking in the views, and finding her seat. With ticket limitations, Butcher wasn't in her usual seat, but that was all right. She says she was able to enjoy the game even during the fifth inning. Oh, man, they scored six runs, and I was like, panic city. But I knew we were going to come back. I just knew it. And she was right. Today, a success for San Diego. The Padre Madre held her breath, said a little prayer, and the boys in brown gave the fans a big W, 8-7 to seven on opening day. Good job, Padres winner, baby! Yeah. Butcher says she has a feeling that this isn't just an April Fool's joke, but the first of a series of wins that will take the Padres all the way to the World Series. The big thing for me this year was we always had hopes, but this year we have expectations because they did so good last year. We're really expecting them to do good this year. And they started off on the right foot, so I'm really excited. She was right once. Let's hope she's right again. Butcher is hoping that she gets her usual seat back as more people get vaccinated and pandemic restrictions get loosened. At Petco Park, I'm Rita Nakano, ABC 10 News. High expectations indeed.